Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is tutorial number 15, 16, 17, 18, somewhere around there. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and do this uh, little back to me talking again, because all the other ones, minus the first two or three, have been um, all the just straight up doing the small tutorials looks, because doing 31, um, 31 looks, I know I'm a little behind. But towards the end of the month, I will be dropping all the rest of the uh, looks. Um, but yeah, so, so far, I've been really loving this palette. I mean, you can really tell that it's being used very well. The pigments and the powders everywhere. But today, I actually want to recreate a look done by Carmen. Um, I will actually link that video down below. She did this, what, three looks, one palette, I think a year ago. I'm obviously behind because I'm just now getting around to playing and getting back into tutorials. But look number three, she did more of a smoky look with the Nocturne, Noir Moon, and I think she would use Galactic Glow or Solar Flare. But I'm going to use the Nocturne and Galact Black bleh, Nocturne and Noir Moon, and then maybe do more of a gold in the inner corner to kind of, you know, jazz it up. Or maybe even the Rose Gold, this, uh, this Rose Venus maybe, or the Lux, Lotus Lux. Or the heavenly, heavenly body is like my favorite out of this palette. And loot, ooh, maybe I should do that one in the corner. We'll see. So let me go and prep my eyes and we will get into All this right. tutorial. So my eyes are prepped with the Too Faced Shadow Intro. Little side note, I mean, this has lasted me through what my Natasha Denona palette focus, Rose Decadence, uh, the past few palette focuses, and it's finally running out. And that's a lot of looks. And that's a lot of eyeshadow primer. So this is amazing. I will be buying more. But I do like the Fenty one though. Anyways, eyeshadow, our eye primers, eyes are prepped. Let's go in with the Nocturne. Noc Nocturne. Nocturne? Yeah, Nocturne. So, putting it on, really packing it on at the base, right by the lashes. Perfect. Like really packing it on. And I'm going to bring it all the way up to the crease. That is where we need to go. And then let me go ahead and do the other side and I will be right Going back. in with a fluffy brush. This is from Urban Decay. What is this? Their first Naked? I think this was from their first Naked palette. And just go ahead and start blending out the edges. And then I'm just really bringing out whatever's left out to wing it out. And as you can tell, like this eyelid is bigger than this side. So really trying to even them out is also a task when it comes to smoky looks. But also something to always keep in mind when you start to do other people's uh, uh, makeup. The first thing I always look at are the facial features on people's faces that I actually want to enhance. And then I go from there. That is the first thing I always look at at people when I'm asked to do makeup or for uh, photo shoots. <clears throat> My models, I look at their Instagram page to see what kind of uh, looks they've done. And then the facial features and stuff like that. Perfect. So just blend it out. Yeah. Blend, blend blend and this nocturne is such a beautiful warm it's like a warm neutral kind of brown that complements all the uh, warm and cool tone uh type of um color in this palette which i was very surprised about all right so let's blend it out to where you want it to be and as much as you want and I hope they look like sisters anyways all right just go ahead and start to wing it out a little bit more with whatever is left on the brush perfect let me go ahead and just continue to smoke this out and we will be right back right. so they are blended and they look related that is what matters they do look related now, going in with my finger with uh, Noir Moon, 
So the only reason why I literally bought this palette was because of Noir Moon and Heavenly Body. Like those were the only reason. Those two colors was literally the only reason why I bought this palette. But now that I've done as many looks as I've done with it, it is a beautiful palette. And I kind of want another one. But pack this on. And the thing I learned about Noir Moon has more of a green reflect. I mean, it's like a green and a teal blue reflect in this. And it is just so beautiful. Like, oh man. Like, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. So just really start to pack that over the uh, Nocturne. And I actually really do enjoy the smaller size of Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow palettes because the regular size close what anywhere from 1.2 grams to about 2 grams. These things last quite a while. And I know for the Celestial Nirvana, they are a little bit bigger than last year's. So I know those are going to go. I mean, I really haven't come close to hitting pan or anything, especially Nocturne. For as much as I've used it, it's not even close. Perfect. So, just pat it on. Pat, 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 pat. And I'm just going to go ahead and smoke up the edges. With so, Nocturne. this is where we are at. I think for the brow bone, I'm going to go in with Solar Flare. Again with my finger. And just to use that as my brow highlight. And the great thing, I always like to do my brow bone last sometimes. Because you can actually tame down the uh, outer part of the eye. If you like went way too far out. Or if you just want everything to blend out harmoniously. And I think for the inner corner, I actually might do... I was thinking of doing the gold. What is the gold one? Gold Galaxy. But I've already done a few looks with the gold and the noir. But I actually want to experiment to see. Do they look? Do they look okay? Do they? Do they look like twins still? Yes, they do. So for the inner corner, I'm actually gonna go in with Lunar Haze, which is kind of like that uh, lavender one, which reminds me of a celestial. Odyssey, Celestial, Nirvana has Lunar, Lunar something as well, which is also a cool, ooh, those two together. <sighs> ooh, girl. Okay, so, Lunar Haze. See, this is what I mean, like, whether you use the cool tone or the warm tones in this, that Noir Moon and Nocturne just goes with everything effortless effortlessly perfect and just perfect oh god i mean look at oh my god all right this is amazing this truly is a look so I'm going to go ahead and line my um, waterline with the man eater still, because I still have it. So, And then mascara for all these looks have been Dior, the iconic overcurl. And let me go do my base, and then you will see me right back all done. All right. So this is where we are at. Uh, the brows look related. That's all that matters at this point. So, I have actually have on Charlotte Tilbury Fla Airbrush Flawless Foundation and 7.5 Warm because I've lost my tan. But I've actually been mixing it with the Hollywood Flawless Filter to give it a little bit more of that glow. Um, and I've actually been using this a lot for this uh, palette focus. So, I'm actually going to go in with this one, the highlighter. And this just gives such a beautiful wet glow lit from within and I actually like to bring it to my brow bone so it just has that cohesive blend from the brow bone all the way in to the temple so I actually like to do my highlighter first to just have it in the background and then if I want to really intensify it a little bit more then I'll go on top of my blush 
but I think today for blush I'm actually gonna keep because I want the drama to be all in the eyes so let us go in with uh, back, no, not back, uh, let's go with the divine blush cosmic glow but I actually want to do more of just using the outer rim for my blush just to really keep it more focus on the eyes. And here we go. Blush, blush, blush. So when I do more smoky dramatic eyes, I really like the focus just to be on the eyes. And that lavender haze is just so beautiful. Perfect. And I actually think I might go in with a bronzer as a blush on top of all of this, just to really tame it down. Actually, you know what? We are going back in with the Hollywood, what, what is it? Nude Gasm Face Palette, and I'm gonna go in with the Super Sculpt, which is the darker one of this, and just begin to, just do right on top, actually, of this blush. Sorry, if you can hear the wind, it's like really windy today. It is what it is. Perfect. Yeah, because I just want a lot of focus on the eyes. And the actually soft sculpt is actually really pigmented and it really shows up on my skin. I was very surprised to be quite honest. Um, There we go, actually. Just using these as kind of like a blush. Perfect. Now, for lips, I've actually been really enjoying this combination. The Naked Rose, where is it? With the Fenty Beauty, pardon my absence a moment. Naked Rose uh, Opulus with the Fenty Beauty Spanked, actually, is like my favorite cur current combination for this uh, palette focus. But I do want to try um, Charlotte Tilbury's blush, I mean lipsticks, because I never really have. And I know she has a holiday set right now with three of her top sellers. And I want to try them out really badly. I have enough because I have a lot of MAC lipsticks, but I might do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury soon. And a full face of just Pat. Just because I want to. All right, so there is Fenty Beauty Spank. Now the Naked Rose. Ugh. Like Dreamscape would be beautiful with this. Uh, there we go. Oh. I mean, come on. I still want more of a bronzy blush. Let me go in with the Becca Bean Light and Light Medium. And this, actually, I've been using a lot of the um, blurring and I believe the all over face, but I've been kind of using them both as my under eye um, brightening and setting of the makeup and I'll do it in my T-zone. Also, this Pat McGrath is phenomenal. I have what am I? This is light medium too. But I'm going to go in with this shade, this bronzer right here, and just really begin to. There we go. That's what I needed. It's more of an orangey type of bronzer, but it'll do. It'll do. Perfect. Perfect. Just to really give more of that smoky smoke smokerson. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Let me go ahead and set it and we'll be back with the final look of everything. All right. So this is the final look. I mean, come on. I mean, look at you can see my pores. Not up the nose. I need to cut my nose hair. I mean, mm, I'm human and I have flaws, so I'm not mad about it.
but I do have pores. So without the ring light, this is natural lighting. Um, yeah, because I mean, even with just that, I mean, mm, ooh, ooh, it's all about the angles. But now with the ring light, I mean, just the eyes. I mean, come on. So many beautiful looks that you could do with this palette. And I am very happy that I have it and I got it because I almost gave it away. And just the colors, the way they complement each other, they're just so beautiful. With 18 shades, I mean, yeah, I've used Nocturne a lot, Noir Moon, have, I mean, there's so, and there's still a lot. There's still, I mean, like you could barely see that I've even begun to get deep in there. So these will last quite a while, that's for sure. Um, Yeah, another look, I'm halfway through this palette focus. And the beautiful thing about this palette, I mean, if you just layer some of the colors, like the Heavenly Body, Bronze Nova, I will layer either on bottom or on top of some of the eyeshadows in here, and it really gives a different type of reflect and color, which is beautiful. Um, this Noir Moon, oh, I wonder what it would look like if you got it wet. And that's another thing of, with these uh, shimmers. If you get the brush wet, they are highly, highly pigmented. I think I did a look with Corrupt Copper. If you get that um, brush wet to do that, it really intensifies. It's like almost like liquid, liquid copper. But um, I've literally used every shade in this palette to create a look, and I'm very happy I did. Um, yeah, inspired by Carmen. She did more of Solar Flare first, and I think she it wasn't bright enough, so she did Galactic Glow in the inner corner, which is beautiful. You could use that. But this Lunar Haze really creates more of that cool tone. And it really, with me having brown eyes, it really brings out more of that brown in my eyes. And the Noir Moon, I mean, if you mix that with Citrine Envy or even what, Nirvana? These? Because it, it has like a green, green specks and like a teal blue um, glitters, specks of glitters in them. And they really complement a lot of shades. I wonder if that will go good with that blue and the new Nirvana, Celestial Nirvana. Who knows, maybe we should do a mashup. But if you have this palette, play around. I highly encourage you to play around with this a lot more. I mean, these mattes complement each other very well. E Lunar, what is this? Lunar Eclipse? Bronze Eclipse? Is Maybe I'll do that next as a one and done shade with like a really nice wing liner. Um, yeah, I mean... There's just so much you could do with this palette. Glad I have it. Almost gave it away. Look number 17, 18, 15, 6, somewhere around there. But I mean, and now that the sun's coming in, this is just such a beautiful color combination. But many more looks to come, and we'll see what the palette focus will be for next month in November. I have a couple ideas, so we shall see how that goes. Toodaloo.